nearly 40 softball players braving the heat this week at U.S. Cellular Community Park. Hydration is the key. Staying hydrated and finding shade. Towels that we wrap around our necks, misters that we fill with cold water, a lot of hydrating, lots of water and Gatorade. Mm -hmm. and yeah, just try and stay in the shade. The Campbell Crush softball team is from the San Jose area. The players told me they've played in extreme conditions before. You gotta fight. That's basically it. You yeah. gotta fight through it. But the most brutal weather for them to play in? Hot and, and dry heat. <laughs> Medford Parks and Recreation says the heat is a concern, but the department has made special arrangements to make sure the players and their fans stay safe and cool throughout the tournament. We have ice water and cups in every dugout. We have a Mr. Tent and a Mr. Fan here. We've provided as much shade as we can. We've advised all the parents of what the signs for heat, uh, uh, heat stroke and heat exhaustion are. Players on the Thousand Oaks All-Star say they're used to playing in sizzling conditions. One player has a special rule to stay hydrated. Sit in the shade and drink five little like, the little water cups. I drink five of those in an inning. Despite the tricks and tips, players say the weather could affect their game. It's just really hard to play, especially on turf, because all the heat rises up and it's just yeah. kind of miserable, but <laughs> we fight through it. Covering your news in Medford. D-R-U-S-H! Justin Matthews, News 10.